Hi to all. Uh, I'm sorry. Hi. <laughs> I'm Roberto Franchini from ArrayDB. This is my GitHub profile. I'm, uh, I define myself as a passionate programmer and a, a pragmatic problem solver. I'm Frank and can solve your problem. And uh, well, it's my first time in a live coding session, so um, you know there will be a lot of errors, a lot of mistakes. Uh, even uh, I can fall back uh, on an institutional presentation of about 100 slides uh, to bother you more. Uh, organ organizer told me that uh, I should speak uh, until until the 10 to 12. Okay. So uh, let's start. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Okay, what are we going to do ton tonight, no, today? Uh, what I want to show you. We are going to read the, from the Twitter stream and store the Twitter stream to RNDB. Uh, so we are going to read the, the Twitter stream with uh, using Kotlin code and store uh, to RNDB that is a graph database. Twitter is a, a very uh, well modeled graph and then we uh, fetch data back from uh, RNDB using uh, Kotlin and uh, a feature of RNDB called the live query. Uh, it's a sort of uh, stream, um, reactive stream uh, or reactive query, you can call that. And uh, well, we, we only print out on the console uh, these tweets. Um, some, uh, so we, I'm going to show you some Kotlin code. Uh, I'm not yet an expert in Kotlin. I'm just a beginner. Uh, I love it very much because uh, I think it's a good language, uh, very well designed from the ground up. And so I will show you some basic syntax uh, and uh, uh, the Java interoperability. Uh, that for me is uh, very important because we, um, well, uh, OrnDB is written in Java and my main uh, language is uh, Java. Uh, uh, basic Twitter property graph. Uh, so we have uh, users that uh, post tweets. The relation is one to n. A user can post a lot of tweets. And uh, the every tweet is could be uh, tagged by more than one hashtag, but one hashtag, uh, one hashtag can um, tag a lot of tweets, okay? Uh, Yes, I've got a slide with the data model uh, with uh, balls and uh, arrows and so on, but the uh, organizer told me that uh, they can kill me if I show that, so uh, I stay out from that. Uh, okay, now, first thing, we are cool, so we have got a Docker container with uh, RNDB. If you don't have a Docker container now, you are out of the market, I'm sorry. So run the Docker container. Okay, it's up. Let's check. Okay. Yes, it works. Okay, uh, when you start the RNDB, you've got a web uh, uh, a web studio to interact with immediately with uh, with uh, with the database. But we will come uh, we will come here after from. Uh, okay. Okay, let's code. Can you see the code? Do you prefer maybe presentation mode? It's better? Okay. Okay, first, uh, first uh, thing we want to uh, fetch data from uh, Twitter stream. String factory instance um, not on status as so to be as okay. Uh, 
Hört doch doch. Okay, now I, run, I will run this and maybe it could not work. Okay, because uh, Twitter is. Uh, okay, it works. Fine. So we are just sampling from the Twitter stream and uh, print out the, the every tweet uh, is, coming, is um, coming in the stream. Okay, uh, some notes. I'm using Twitter 4J. It is a Java library, and I'm using it from Kotlin. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's no magic. Um, I'm, uh, I've got a POM, so it's plain. Uh, it's in a Java, a Java project, uh, nothing more. Okay. Uh, the only thing you should add to your POM is. Uh, Something uh, like uh, Kotlin for the compiler. And you can mix and match Java and uh, Kotlin code in the same project. There's no problem. Okay. Dependencies? Uh, no. No. Okay. Something for. Okay. Kotlin standard rib, RNDB GraphDB, RNDB special in Lucene, uh, and Twitter for J for the stream where I imported also Guava and something else. And then uh, if, I, if I, I want to show you um, how to use uh, Rx Java if, if, I, if I manage it, okay? So let's go to the code. Well, uh, we can even manage uh, errors for an exception. So you can, as you can see, is uh, very functional. Okay. These are uh, these are um, uh, closures. Okay. Um, sometimes uh, Twitter uh, send us uh, some error. We are fetching too much messages. Manage also that. On. Right limit or right status status uh, so we, at the moment we are doing nothing nothing very intelligent very smart whoa on right limit reach and Uh, okay. Instead of sample the stream, uh, we can uh, filter the stream. Okay. Filter query. Um, language. It, uh, sorry. It, and dot track. Um, we want to track. Uh, I don't know. Or in the B and cloud and uh, these are always uh, usually um, hashtags and the keywords. Okay. No slides uh, enough. enough, okay. And uh, cloud, well, something okay. Okay, it works. Okay. This is like a new filter query. You don't need the new the new keyword. Uh, you don't even need the um, 
punto e virgola. Ragazzi, semicolon, thank you very much. I'm sorry. Uh, you then we need the semicolon uh, and um, uh, we will see uh, other, other small features. Uh, okay, now. Um, Let's create a database, okay? So we connect to the database with uh, the server admin class using a uh, root uh, server credential, very secure. I use a very secure, okay. Okay, and for admin. The server is still running in the container. So if not admin dot exist database, um, Tweets. Admin dot create database. Tweets. We are going to create a graph DB. Orient is a multimodal um, database, so you can uh, even create uh, only a document database without uh, the graph support, but uh, it is better to uh, use uh, always the, the graph DB. You can mix and match the document and, and the vertex and edges. Okay. Okay, let me stop the stream for a while. And okay, what was wrong? Okay. Now should work. Okay. Okay, DB is created. Okay, you can, uh, this is the schema. Uh, all this class, uh, in Orient DB, you have uh, the concept of class, is like a, quite like a table. So these classes are created by the, um, the database itself uh, at uh, the startup when you create a new database. Uh, what's important now for us are E, and the V class, because uh, they are the basic classes for uh, a graph database. V stands for uh, vertexes, vertex, and uh, E stands for edges, okay? Okay. Now, um, we need to create some our tables to store uh, tweets, okay? So we're going to create uh, at least uh, tweets and user. Okay. Not open. Okay, we can assign this to a, to a variable, or well, a value. Um, Cotring has uh, the concept of uh, value and variable, so a value is uh, such uh, is uh, like a public 
public final, uh, final uh, variable in Java is immutable. Okay, you can't uh, reassign it. Okay. Um, as you can see, the type of the variable is uh, written um, after the variable name. Uh, in many cases, uh, Kotlin is able to do a lot of type inferences, so you don't need to specify the type. Even, for example, here, we didn't specify the type. Um, the the OrientDB API uh, uses a lot uh, of generics, and uh, sometimes Kotlin uh, get mad about the generics and can't uh, can't understand the, the type. Okay. Uh, even in Java 8, uh, the you sh sometimes you, you need to uh, specify the, the type. Okay. No. Okay. DB dot command uh, or command command script. Oh. This is a feature I like so much I want it in Java. Uh, sorry. Okay, with uh, with this uh, kind of uh, um, write of a string, you can split a string uh, on multiple lines. I know that there are uh, so so beautiful languages that do that uh, in for a while, but uh, in Java is uh, not not possible. You still use a plus and uh, <laughs> a command writer. Okay, let's create uh, the first class. Create class uh, tweet. Tweet if not exists, uh, extend v. Vg extends. Extends. And the user. And uh, let's create uh, some, yeah, some property. Property uh, tweet dot text if not exist. Um, string. I don't know if it's right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm. So uh, we can cr you can create a class and a property uh, uh, a typed property on a class. Um, you can even work without a schema. But uh, wh when you go to production without a schema, you don't know what uh, you are putting in your database, and then you 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 can't uh, well. I don't think it's a good way of work without uh, completely without a schema. But if you everyone uh, kill uh, kill us uh, with the the, 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 the gun, it prefers so do whatever you want. Okay, let's go. Error. Okay. Use schema. Okay. We got the tweet class. Okay. Uh, well, this uh, could be boring to to write the schema in this way. I got it. It's more complex. Let me show some uh, something. Okay, for the tweets, uh, we will define even uh, some indexes. Um, a unique index, uh, so it it is it, on uh, the tweet ID. Um, a unique index implies that uh, only it it's like a primary key. You can see it as a primary key. Uh, 
and uh, uh, I will define uh, even uh, a full text uh, index on the text field. Uh, for the full text indices, we use uh, Lucene, uh, that is the same uh, uh, library used by Elasticsearch, uh, so you can uh, use quite uh, all the same feature of a uh, search uh, engine on, on this index. Hashtag extend V uh, as a label of string. A label, uh, the label is unique, uh, so we use uh, unique indexes, and so on. Okay. Now, I should drop the database. Okay. Now let's create again. Okay. Okay, let's go to see the schema. For example, user, you can see all the properties, indexes. You can rebuild the indexes uh, from the console. Uh, we have got only, oh, oh, obviously, a, a console on the shell as well. Okay, go back to the code. Now, I would like to fetch data from uh, uh, from the database. At the moment, it's empty, but uh, we can uh, uh, write some uh, some uh, some query. As I said, um, RDB has this uh, cool feature uh, called live query. And uh, it is well documented that there are some this snippet of code, but unfortunately, this code is Java. Okay, let me copy the code and we'll show what happened. Oh, do you want to convert it to Kotlin? Yes, thanks. Okay, do it for me. Fantastic. Uh, okay, we need to do some adjustment override 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 okay no i don't need this fantastic now uh, okay, all database, all database document X. David, I, w I will copy your use of uh, IntelliJ template, it's uh, fantastic. Live templates, yeah. Uh, okay, dot open. Okay. Uh, now I made. A, I wrote. I write. A, I'm writing an act. Uh, don't. Don't look at that, please. Okay. Okay. To to work with like queries, we need uh, to a database, a listener, and a query, and we register the query. Oh, yes, convert for me. Thank you very much. Adjust the imports, okay. Listener. Okay. 
Sort of an empty cup, right? Ah, sí. El tipo. As they say, the... Not every time... Uh, Uh, Kotlin uh, is able to understand to to do the right uh, type in France, uh, and so you should you should uh, write down the, the the type. Okay. Um, well, as you can see, uh, I wrote uh, a, a class inside the body of a function. Uh, you can uh, write classes uh, whenever, where you want. Um, val is, uh, oh, okay, I just say that, that val is uh, for final. Okay, let's go to use this. Uh, let's copy. Well, no, I got the right one. Okay, just to simulate uh, the stream of data, uh, I insert uh, into the, the table tweet uh, one record with, uh, with uh, the text value buzz, and that uh, I update uh, the, this. Okay. Okay, what's wrong? Uh, ah, yes, okay, sorry. I copied from the documentation. Okay. Uh, so, the RNDB notifies me for the query and I get the result. Okay, for the action I made. So, operation three is an insertion, operation one is an update of the same record. Okay, this is the, the same record, tweet 250250. Uh, this is uh, an internal identifier of uh, RNDB. It's called uh, the record ID R I -E -E read. Okay. But now we don't, we want to uh, to fetch data from the stream. Okay, and we want to store the data in Orient database. Let's go back to the fetcher. Okay. So hot. Okay. Okay. Not this new one. I don't want this one. Okay. Uh, now, um, to store data, uh, I want to to do something. Some. Uh, smart work so uh, in the real world um, you don't pick the the twitter and store them but maybe you need uh, a sort of pipeline to uh, to analyze uh, the tweet uh, to extract some information uh, and maybe send the tweet uh, to another system or something else um, so um i will use rx java to uh, fetch from a, an observable and do some operation on the, on the stream of data. Okay.
So I wrap the. I will wrap the. the um, so I wrap essentially wrap the. Um, this the the Twitter the Twitter's uh, the Twitter fetcher inside another inside an observable well uh, flow able they call it now okay okay uh, and Rx Java do the um, two dot zero they change the some of the API so now you need a flow able instead of, uh, of uh, observable. Uh, it's from the reactive stream uh, IO API. Okay. So, this is sorry, anymore. So, flow able dot create. Uh, we encapsulated the, the stream uh, fetcher inside. Uh, on every status we called it. What's it? Well, um, it is that something like that. Okay, uh, you can uh, you can mm, use uh, it as a reference of the uh, closure uh, caller or some, something else. Okay, and sorry. And we use uh, a drop back pressure st strategy. So if uh, the system can't handle all the all the data from the stream, uh, it will drop uh, the data uh, without worries about it. Uh, only streams. Okay. Publish, okay. So stream dot stream dot observe on schedulers dot io and map s so v. Uh, another cool f feature of um, of um, Kotlin is uh, the ability to uh, reference to object inside the, the the string. I know that uh, there are a lot of languages that are able to do that, but you don't have it in Java, and this is a very cool feature. Okay, uh, stream dot connect. And uh, I think we need the thread, current thread, join to all the work. Okay. What I made wrong? Let me see. No. No, it's oh, yes. Sorry. There's the map. There's no terminator. Okay. Same things, but uh, using Rx Java. Okay. So it's the same uh, as before. We are still printing out uh, the tweets, uh, nothing more. Now, let's go to store them. Okay. 
as before very sh very secure you can define users and um, ACL on the database, but uh, obviously the default user is admin admin. Then don't use uh, admin admin in production, please. And then claiming that it's not secure. Well, pool. Okay, now. Okay, we have a pool. Now we are going to store our first tweet inside the database. So, so you don't need it because uh, you can write uh, this way. So db dot acquire the uh, pool pool dot acquire yes in it. B dot uh, uh, command command and the sequel okay as before ah oh, this feature is fantastic okay let me copy the um, uh, the sequel just to, to don't write something wrong okay okay uh, status the uh, status status okay. okay okay Are we able to store data to all in the B? Let me check. Yes. Okay. We are storing. Okay. Now, let's we see if Okay. Uh, so, uh, on this shell, we are storing data. Now I launch uh, the the um, the live query fetcher. Okay. It will work for five seconds and then. It will stop it. So uh, we are storing Twitter tweets. We are uh, fetching them with a, like a register like query without any condition. Uh, we can uh, maybe improve the search, uh, searching uh, only tweets that are retweet or uh, something uh, like that. Okay. Create that. Is re tweet equals dot um, is retweet.
Not the Kotlin maps uh, natively. Uh, the getters and setter, the, if they are public, uh, on a simple dot, dot notation. So you don't have to write uh, status get is retweet uh, status get uh, uh, ID. Uh, it, I think it, it do that by reflection or whatever. I don't. I don't care. Okay, let's start again. Live query. Live select from tweet where is re tweet equals true okay Uh, as you can see, the text uh, contains uh, RT, so uh, we, are, we are sure that, uh, that the, this, uh, can, these tweets are uh, retweets. Okay. I can go for another hour, <laughs> but uh, okay. Um, only five minutes left. So if you have questions on uh, RNDB or Kotlin, uh, whatever you want, uh, there are some stickers. The better questions we will gain uh, maybe a t-shirt. So. Are there any performance uh, issues about using Kotlin instead of Java? Uh, okay, I use it only on uh, my side project, uh, not uh, in production. So, uh, sincerely, I don't know. But uh, since it uh, produ it, it uh, produce uh, Java, Java bytecode, I don't think uh, you can find anything uh, different. And uh, it, they they don't uh, reinvent, reinvent like, the wheel. So, for example, collection are still uh, the Java collections. Um, completable futures are still the completable futures. Uh, as you see, uh, as you saw, I, I use the uh, only Java libraries: Twitter for J, Rx Java, or in the RNDB Java native client, uh, without any problem. Other questions? Uh, Wait for the microphone. Uh, have you considered to use uh, uh, DSL to, to write the queries? Is, um, is something that the RNDB will, will allow? Will allow? Uh, DSL via Java, Java uh, API? Uh, no, uh, through Kotlin. Uh, Kotlin is very good for writing yes, domain specific okay. languages. Uh, yeah. Next steps of my learning path. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that uh, writing some uh, some test uh, with uh, spec or something else, and okay. uh, it's very very cool. Uh, I didn't have time to to, to try to implement something uh, like that. Uh, and I think it's a very cool feature for of, of Kotlin to allow you to to write uh, um, DSL uh, in a smart way. Other questions? Maybe more on RNDB or uh, whatever? O all of you know about the graph databases? Have you used the graph databases before? No, okay. I've got a presentation about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.